Hey everyone, so today I have sort of a quick video for you. Um, I'm just kind of gauging what interest I have in these two bags. Um, if nobody's interested, then I'll probably just keep them. And I am going to be pretty firm on price as, like I said, I do still like them. I want to fund something new. But if I can get what I want for them, then I'll probably let them go. So, check out my Instagram page. It is thepurseaddict.sam. And, um, I'll have the pricing and everything, because, you know, you can't sell on, on YouTube here. So, I will have pictures and pricing and everything like that. But I just wanted to make a quick video sharing, um, the two bags and all that. So, you guys might be kind of surprised when you see them. But, the first one is <sighs> my Philip Lim. I'm, I love this bag. I think it is so gorgeous. It is unique, it is me, but I just don't find myself using it that often. Um, I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with me right now. If I just really want to buy something new or what, but um, this bag, you guys have all seen it before in my other videos, is beautiful. Um, the coloring is why I like it so much. I love the, the brushed... Um, gunmetal hardware with this so it's not silver or gold but it's like that really dark hardware and my cat is playing in a box right now so I am sorry if you hear weird noises but anyway so I bought this brand new at Nordstrom for $985 um, it comes with the crossbody strap that is adjustable so you have a ton of holes here um, like so. It comes with the dust bag, which just is a really nice white dust bag. Cream dust bag, I should say. I love it. Um, and I do have the receipt and everything, too, that uh, came with it when I bought it. Um, right now, I just have it stuffed, but you guys have all seen it before. It has... Oh, I just... I love this hardware. It has the option of uh, also... Let me show you the sides unzipping so you can hold so much in this bag look at that it's like massive and you can leave it open kind of like that so it has that sort of look to it um <clears throat> like I said I'll have my pricing on my Instagram page if you're interested just check it out this this has no wear to it whatsoever except for the clasp if any of you guys know anything about Philip Lim, you know that the clasps do scratch really easily because this isn't coated. It's like a sharp little pointy thing that connects in here. So it does have scratching um, because it is, you know, more difficult to get into. I mean, like it's not difficult to close, but because of this little pointy thing here, it's really hard to get into it or get it in there without scratching the hardware. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so, but other than that, I have, um, the leather is softening up a little bit, but I have no scratches. The bottom is like clean as can be. Everything, the, the, um, shark embossed leather, I think is what it's called, is like, it's held up great. So, but I have that one that I'm thinking of selling and the, yeah, so the next one is a Louis Vuitton bag, and this is my Speedy 30. I bought this back in 2012. Um, so, let me see if I can move back a little bit. The patina is really nice. It is darker around the handles. I know it's gonna be really hard to see like I said I'll try and post pictures on my Instagram or something um, I just I really don't like this style bag and I like I said I bought it in 2012 so I've had it for what four years now um, and it's held up great and it's like that older style canvas that feels like thick and really nice um, the patina is super even and I love that um there was so because it's old style these are flat and I don't know if you guys 
we'll be able to see but there are a little bit it almost looks like water spots on this one and then there's a little tiny tiny stains maybe on these but other than that it's pretty clean this is clean this is the brass needs some like um just needs to be cleaned up a little bit mine was made in the u.s um there is a little bit of cracking up here at the zipper part where is it oh my gosh i know that i'd seen it it's very small so it's hard to see but i did notice that at one point oh there's one right kind of here where it's just kind of cracked at the at the um, stitch the inside right now I have stuffed but the pocket is the non zip one of course and the only bit uh, I don't know if you guys can see it but there's a smudge right here on the vaquetta that is very light and you can't really tell well, you can kind of see it whereas it's just a little bit darker right there um, I don't ever use this pocket so yeah it's it's clean in here um, all the leather here on the inside is like perfect look at that the difference that's crazy huh but the inside is clean um, this D ring is in good condition I mean overall it's a great bag and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna be a little bit sad selling it but again like I said I don't reach for the speedy style because you open it up and you lose everything in it I know a lot of people who really love this bag and this is my first Louis Vuitton bag that I ever purchased which is kind of why selling it is like it's not if I can't get the price I want then I'm, I'm gonna just keep it but um just for sentimental value and I'll probably just keep it in my collection but I don't know what do you guys think it's really pretty there's no also I forgot to tell you guys I don't um this is a non-smoking home so it doesn't have any smells of smoke either bag or anything like that I do have animals but I keep these in their dust bags and everything um protected from them um so with that said it comes with the receipts which I have over across the room but it comes with the receipts it comes with the original dust bag um, it comes with the lock and the key for it. I have the key for it. Um, and then it also comes with an extra large Louis Vuitton dust bag. Not the drawstring one, but the flap one. Um, because I like to store my bag stuffed like this, and because I can't fit it back in this dust bag, I went to Louis Vuitton and my SA gave me a bigger dust bag, so I'll include that as well. Um, but I bought this in 2012, like I said, over... Um, like online when I lived overseas so for whatever reason I don't remember if I got a box and if I did I, I threw it away or something I don't remember um I feel like if I got a box I would have kept it though so there is no box with it just the dust bag and receipt and everything like that will come with it but um let me know if you guys are interested I'm kind of going in like through my um collection right now and seeing what I want to get rid of and what I want to keep there might be something on my wish list currently that I may have posted on Instagram so you might want to go check that out I'm trying to fund for that bag right now but um I don't know right now this is what I would be okay with um selling so again uh check out my Instagram it is the purse addict Sam and I will have pricing and more pictures of each bag on there for you guys so if you have any questions comment down below or um I also have my email in the description bar so you can email me if you want me to send you pictures or anything like that um serious inquiries only please um and I don't know so let me know what you guys think and I will see you later bye